It's a story that began with a viewer's simple email to Citizen TV. Without music, they say life would be one big mistake. And for Paul Njoroge, a man who has composed over 70 songs in his native Kikuyu dialect, the story of his life can only be told through music. A gifted musician is what can best describe this 39-year-old whose music is known the world over, despite the fact that it's written in Kikuyu language. But that is as much as the microphone and the rich voice can tell about Paul Njoroge. When we first meet him at the Dede Record Studio in Mudaiga, Nairobi. By the time I was in class 8, 7, I, I could hold some chords and I could find myself during the parade there singing. It, it didn't matter whether there were, there were discords or there were frats. When I was in secondary school, there was a teacher called Mr. Kinyanjui. He's the one who noticed there is something special in me as far as music is concerned. And he took me to the studio in Form 2 and we recorded the first album. A hit that inspired many years back, including his current producer, Sami Gitonga. Uh, I remember when I went to Form 1, the same song we are recording here today uh, was the first song I ever performed in CU. When people told me about him that he, he went out of music industry and started drinking, I felt bad and I, I said I had to look for him. <laughs> His producer taking us back in time to a past of a man whose life can only be compared to that of the biblical prodigal son. I recorded 1995, which is Mirigode, the famous, the one people know. And the third one I recorded after I, I, tra I traveled to, to UK, I came back in 1997 and uh, I recorded the, the, another one which is called Mary Amihango. I'm a Mary Amihango. Then uh, I recorded others later on which did not do well. So after, after 1997, I just disappeared from music scene and uh, I went underground and I started drinking and uh, my life was gone and my family broke. So ev the hell broke loose. Working out of the recording studio that can only tell of his music life, revealing another side of a man who, despite having composed the famous hit Morigodi, a hit which has been redone and popularized by Kayamba Africa, is trying like the proverbial spider to rebuild the web that is his life at a friend's house in Mwik, Nairobi, and as he works on his 10th album, his message I regret, surely I am, uh, and I want to tell those people out there who are drinking, especially the young people, please don't try it. Judy Kosge, Citizen TV, your story.